everyone welcome back to our channel today i want to share you one very very important long answer from inter first year physics it is important for both ab and telangana states and uh, it is uh, for 8 marks that question name is newton's law of cooling see you know that uh, newtons 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 don't confuse most of the parts from the physics was explained by the newton only but it is belongs to thermal properties of matter chapter newton's law of cooling so it belongs to heat energy and what he said suppose you are taking one hot body okay any body suppose it is at 100 degree centigrade we are placing in the surroundings then what happens after some time we won't observe that 100 degree centigrade why that hot body is the losing the heat energy and it is giving to the surroundings that's why what he said and even while cooking also we should observe how heat uh, like um, warm food and always that one why after some time it is losing the heat energy but the person newton has given at that time the rate of loss of heat energy is directly proportional to the difference between the temperature of that hot body to the surroundings temperature surroundings means you know that it is in between 25 to 29 degrees centigrade in india right especially in hyderabad also you can say that look here the rate of loss of heat is directly proportional to difference of temperature of that body and temperature of the surroundings it is losing means here we are representing with negative sign so dq by dt is directly proportional to when we are removing this we are getting one constant k into t minus ts but from the specific heat we know that what is the specific heat formula specific heat equals to 1 by m into dq by dt if you want listen this definition also the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one unit of mass of the body through 1 degree centigrade suppose you can take this marker you want to increase the temperature of this one unit not entire through 1 degree centigrade we require heat energy no that only what do you say specific heat different materials are having the different values of the specific heats so don't confuse specific heat equals to 1 by m into dq by dt but what term we want from this dq equals to ms into change in temperature don't confuse this is a change in time and this is a change in temperature look then instead of dq we are writing otherwise we should write it equation 2 substitute in equation 1 equation 2 substitute in equation 1 then what you are getting instead of dq we are writing ms dt by dt capital t belongs to temperature small t belongs to time is directly proportional to minus k into otherwise write it minus k into t minus ts now it should be right dt by dt equals to Minus k by m s into d t minus t s. See, m is constant, specific heat is constant. One more constant, constant by constant, we are getting the constant. When we are removing this, once again we are getting is directly proportional to t minus t s. Otherwise, if you want to mention that minus k into t minus t s. So this is the Newton's law of cooling. It's very simple. You should imagine one hot body is losing the heat energy. How can you give the relation between rate of loss of heat to the temperature difference? It was proposed by Newton. That's why this is called the Newton's law of cooling. Okay. And but the conditions are there for this. When we should apply? When should, when it is applicable? You know that heat is flow of heat is three methods are there. conduction convection and radiation and i have given practically what is conduction what is convection and what is radiation in physics in our daily life some videos i made you can watch it and you will get more clarity what is conduction what is convection and what is radiation but for this answer at least you should mention what are the limitations of that one when we are applying the newton's law of cooling mostly due to due to the convection and radiation conduction is negligible in this case and one more thing 
the body must have must having the uniform temperature see one part at one temperature one part at one temperature it is not applicable along with newton's law of cooling they are giving one more combination problem it is very very important newton's law of cooling is for 6 uh, marks and uh, this is for this problem combination problem is for 2 marks look here the given data is a body cools down from 60 to 50 degrees centigrade in 5 minutes then to 40 degrees centigrade means 50 to 40 degrees centigrade it is 8 8 minutes from this given data we can find out the what is the temperature of the surroundings so from the newton's law of cooling only we can able to do this one look we know that dt by dt from the newton's law of cooling is directly proportional to t minus ts temperature of the body minus temperature of the surroundings look so here dt by dt ks1 we are applying first thing is t2 is t1 is 60 degree centigrade and uh, t2 is the 50 degree centigrade then dt time difference is the 5 minutes when we are substituting in this 60 minus 50 how much 60 degrees minus 50 degrees by time is the 5 minutes is directly proportional to here t how much you are taking the temperature of the body see it is coming not coming to room temperature or surroundings it is coming from 60 to 50 we are taking the average instead of t average of the temperature 60 degrees plus 50 degrees centigrade by 2 minus temperature of the surroundings then second case it is coming to 40 degrees centigrade so we are taking 50 degree centigrade minus 40 degree centigrade divided by 8 minutes it is taking proportional to here average is how much 50 plus 40 by 2 minus temperature of the surroundings so when we are taking the ratio of this one same method we applied for from 60 to 50 then 50 to 40 look here 60 minus 50 is the 10 divided by 5 and here also 10 divided by 8 is equals to this is 110 by 2 so 55 minus ts divided by this is 45 minus ts here 10 10 cancel when it will reverse what you are getting 8 by 5 equals to 55 minus ts divided by 45 minus ts do the cross multiplication what we are getting here look 45 into 8 is the 360 minus 8 ts is equals to that is the 275 minus 5 ts when we are sending this is uh, this is that side what we are getting 8 minus 5 is the 3 ts is equals to and 360 minus 275 after simplification we are getting that temperature of the surroundings is the 28.33 degree centigrade so like that we can solve this one so it is very very important for final exams for both the ts and ap exams and few more long answers already i uploaded in playlist that is the long answers most important long answers please watch it if anybody wants please share that one thank you please subscribe my channel